Vaccines and immunizations are different terms. However, they have been used interchangeably in many of the scenarios. So in this session, we would understand what is the difference between vaccination, immunization and inoculation. So inoculation is another term which is commonly interchangeably used with vaccination and immunization. So let's first talk about inoculation. Now from the historical perspective, if we understand inoculation is nothing but introduction of a substance in the body to protect us or to provide protection and against certain infection now this term was coined first time as variolation variolation was a term which was used rather than inoculation and the idea was a small amount of pus would be extracted from a body of a person who has suffered from smallpox and this pus would be injected into a healthy human being and this would provide the healthy human being resistance to smallpox and this was the concept which was known as variolation which was used initially later on this was termed as inoculation introduction of a substance in a in another body in order to provide protection so this is inoculation coming on to vaccination now vaccination is a art of introducing a vaccine into the body of a person to protect them from infection so the doses that you have even for your covid vaccine is the concept of vaccination now what is actually vaccine let's understand what is vaccine first vaccine is any substance which is introduced in the body in order to provide you protection and this can be introduced either through injection syringes through inoculation or orally as pulse polio drops in india now besides this when we focus on vaccines vaccines can be either live virus as we have with the oral polio doses they can be injectable in form or they can be small doses of killed bacteria or parts of bacteria which actually are modified toxins from the bacteria there can be another scenario where a small amount of preservative or antibiotic is administered or sometimes a small amount of aluminum salt is provided in order to provide a better immune response so all of these are covered under the ambit of vaccine and when this vaccine is introduced to a human body either as an injectable form or as an oral form we call this as vaccination now what is immunization then immunization is a process that occurs after vaccine is administered so once the vaccine is administered what happens is body gets a resistance to that infection or body gets a shield of protection against that infection and this protection is known as immunization so another important thing to understand is immunization occurs at a community level when the community or a huge set of people get resistance to the disease so pulse polio program in india we say is an immunization program where we tend to achieve herd immunity or reduce the prevalence of the disease to a very significant level so what are the major differences between vaccination versus immunization to explain again vaccination is simply introduction of a vaccine a substance which could be a live virus a dead virus or attenuated virus it could be a preservative a antibiotic a aluminum salt which can provide better immunity and vaccines are administered at individual level if mutation occurs in the microbes then these vaccines can get ineffective very very important to note however immunization is our body's response 
to the vaccine immunization occurs at large scale it is a community driven program and variations of the disease impact the body's ability to generate the immune response so when we talk about covid vaccinations now covid vaccination provides certain level of efficacy if we say 70% efficacy that means that there are 70% chances that the body would be able to fight the infection or get resistance resistant to the prior but as mentioned if there is a mutation that occurs in the microbe or the virus of covid then the vaccines can become ineffective so the difference between vaccination and immunization very very important commonly interchangeably used but it has a difference that we need to understand and in inoculation again what we have understood so these were some of the commonly explained terms most important to know